Thank you, Brother Paul. So, first of all, Arkansas is abortion free. It's a great day to celebrate this victory of life over death while we gather today to do what we would have what would have been the 50th anniversary of Roe v. Wade. That decision that unleashed a torrent of death on the unborn children in America. Thank you for standing for life on this day with us. The heart of Arkansas beats for life. We must remain vigilant as our work to protect babies moves to a new frontier. Each and every one of us must make a decision to choose life over death. Got a question. How many of you remember where you were or what you were doing on June 24th, the day that Roe was overturned? <laughs> Show of hands. Yeah. How's that work? Well, well. So I'm going to tell you what I was doing. I actually, I was fortuitous uh, to be able to be in Washington, D.C. I traveled there with my daughter Zoe, which is the Greek word for life. Uh, on some school business, and we, we were headed to the Library of Congress, which sits adjacent to the Supreme Court building. We were 10 minutes away when Rose Mims texted me and said, it's done. We were there within 10 minutes. There were about 70 people outside the Supreme Court building. We went inside the Library of Congress. We came back out, and there were thousands of people outside the Supreme Court building. Most of them were protesting. Many were celebrating. <laughs> It was a surreal experience and one I had long worked and prayed for since I was a child. I've known since a young age that the taking of an innocent and unborn human life is wrong. You know, in recent times, Arkansas has elected more and more pro-life officials. You see this huge number right here. We've got many more. Governor Huckabee, who uh, is here somewhere, can attest it wasn't always that way. He had to fight for every kind of pro-life bill that got passed. So what happens now? Overturning Roe v. Wade doesn't make abortion illegal under the Tenth Amendment. That decision goes back to the states. In Arkansas, in 2019, we passed a trigger bill sponsored by our friends, former Senator Jason Rayford and Representative Mary Bentley here with us today, that now makes abortions illegal except to save the life of the mother in the state. But as pro-lifers, we still have much work to do. While we're joyous and grateful to God and the Supreme Court justices for this ruling, there is, this is no time to spike the ball. We've won a huge and glorious battle, but the war will continue to wage until we have changed every heart and mind that supports the killing of unborn children. Even in Arkansas, the most pro-life state for now the third consecutive year. There are those who try to weaken our good laws. The abortion debate has simply moved to the state level across all 50. We've got, as I mentioned, a number of elected pro-life officials here in the state of Arkansas. We're going to ask a few of them. Uh, we'll introduce all of who are here, who I happen to catch their names. Hopefully I didn't miss any. And we're going to ask a few to, to come and, and greet the crowd and share a few words for us. And we're going to start with the brand new governor of the state of Arkansas, Sarah Huckabee. 